back with Q and A's. We have a guy here. Excuse me, sir. What's your name? Robert. Robert. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you three questions. The first one is, with COVID going on, do you kiss on the first date? No. He says that's a no. Which would you rather have in a relationship? Financial stability or love? Love. Woo! And now, Robert, you seem like a gentleman. Do you open the car door for your partner? Yes, I do. Do you open the entrance door for your partner? Yes, I do. For any woman. For any woman. Yeah, you hear it that? It doesn't matter. Age, it doesn't matter. Oh, wow. That's, that's respect. Tell me the moment you knew your mate was different from all the rest you met. The one moment you like, I got to keep her. This is the one. Oh, uh, what did she do to reel you in? That's a tough question. Oh, Lord, hopefully she's not watching. No, she's not. I hope she ain't either. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I think it was when, uh, well, I have to say for, for my wife now, I have to say when she gave me my first baby. So well, congratulations. Yeah, so. What did she give you, a boy or a girl? Boy and a girl. Oh, man. So, and you know, I, I, I couldn't have, uh, I didn't think I could have kids, and she, you know, she had uh, my first son, and that was it, man. We've been together for six years now. And she was the one. Yep, yeah, she was the one. All righty, thanks a lot. <laughs> To the next set of questions, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. What it do, YouTube? It's your guy, J-Baby, from the J-Mo Show. We finna start this questions and answers off. Q&As. Right now, we got an uh, individual lady here smoking hot. Jasmine. So let's get these questions started, baby. Jasmine, you want to tell the people your uh, social media account? Hey y'all, I go by Jazz. Y'all can find me on Twitter at Jazz It Up A Little or Snapchat Moi Muha. It's M U A H M U H A. All right, Jazz, let's start with three questions. We ain't gonna give you 20. We got a lot of people <laughs> to see today. Can you be in love and still cheat? No. <laughs> can I be in love and still cheat? No. All righty. Tell me the moment you knew your mate was different from all the rest of them, baby. Uh, what was the moment? Uh, what did he do when you was like, man, he, this is the one. He different from all the rest. Uh, I think it's because he noticed the little things. Even stuff I don't notice about myself. It would be that. Or because usually I approached him. He didn't approach me. So this is the first guy I approached. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Bumping, baby. What would you rather have in a relationship? Financial stability or love? You can pick one. If you can pick one. Oh, my God. I that's mean, you seem like a lady that's very independent and financial. I right? am. I, I really am. So I would have to say love. Okay, love. All right, Miss Jazz. With this new COVID stimulations going on since COVID was introduced, COVID-19, do you kiss on a first date? It changes things now. It do. Uh... I would say no, but I did. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, thankfully, he didn't give you the virus. Yes. Was it a good kiss? Because <laughs> you, you risk death. You risk life and death for this smooching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was. All righty. Back to Q&A's up here at the Pull Up and Park. And we have Brother Jerome. Brother Jerome. Brother Jerome, we got a few relationship questions for you. Let's get it. You go pick a girl up. She gets in your car and says, run me to McDonald's to get my kids something to eat. First, who pays, you or her? All right, man, I was born as a gentleman, so I'm, I'm going to pay, man. Oh, that's that's oh, Then we got a gentleman here, y'all, so I got some gentleman questions. Let's get Do it. Do you open the door for your girl? 
the car door or the entrance door. So let's let's be real. Always the entrance door. You know, sometimes, you know, because I'm married. I've been married for 10 years. Sometimes me and wife. Congratulations, by the way. Right, right, right. So sometimes me and wife get in the car at the same time, you know. But if we're going on a date, I'm making sure that I open the door for a man. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to keep chivalry alive, alive. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, other than that, I'm going to tell you, man, I forget. We jump in the car at the same time. No, but if we're going on a date and it's special, I'm opening the door, car door, and always the entrance door. Hey, it's just the little things that count. Absolutely. Now, when did you know your mate was the right one, the perfect one? What was that specific moment that you knew she was the one? Man, you know what? And I'm going to be 100% honest. I can't pinpoint the exact time that I knew she was the right one, but I met her at my son's graduation, and I told my mama, I'm going to get her. And years after that, I had her, man. So uh, I can't pinpoint, I'm not going to lie, say when the exact moment, the exact date. But uh, yeah, I, at my son's graduation, and I seen her, and I told my mama, I'm going to get her. And wow. here we are, here we are 20 some years later. Okay, okay. Is it okay to discipline stepkids? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, if they live under your roof, you know, and I don't, and just in my case, I don't consider my stepdaughter as a stepkid. I've been in her life since she's been about four or five years old. So that's my daughter. I don't even look at her as a stepkid. But yeah, under my roof, everybody getting disciplined. The dog, everybody, kids, everybody. If your stepkids are disrespectful and your mate don't say nothing, is that a deal breaker? Whoo! It's a challenge, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you that. It, it's, it's a big challenge, man. Because at the end of the day, you know, so now we have to back up. Are we talking about mate, mate or marriage? Because when we talk about marriage, man, we as as one. So now, you know, she becomes my wife is first in my life and I should be first in her life. As mates, you get a little leeway because I can understand how stepkids can be. I was a stepkid, but my stepfather never treated me that way. So that's a twofold question, man. <laughs> big, big, big talk. All right, Q&As, we here with, what's your name? Tamara. Tomorrow we got a few questions, questions and answers for the J-Mo show. Your partner gets caught cheating with someone at work. Do you let her keep working there, him or her? Well, I can't stop them from working there. I would prefer that they didn't work there. If I want to still be with that person. Oh, because they did get caught cheating. But nine times out of ten, if somebody cheated on me, I'm not going to go back to them. Okay. Too many fish in the sea. Too many fish in the sea. Y'all heard it, y'all. Next question. If you see a couple fighting and the woman says, help me, do you? Uh, that's a good question. Um, it depends. And sometimes it depends on the situation. I probably would try to say something like, you know, intervene like, hey, what are you doing? You know, something like that. But as far as like jumping in and fighting, no, I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> all right. Our hoes still loyal. Our hoes still loyal? <laughs> yeah. Are these hoes still loyal out here or are they for all for the streets? Majority of them, I think, for the streets. <laughs> you might get lucky and get a, a loyal one, but majority, of, you know, I see a lot of females that I know. They married and they cheat on their husbands. The husbands don't know nothing. I, I say majority of them, they ain't loyal. They just more smooth and more sneaky with their stuff. Okay, last question for you. Do you think your mate is soft for one to kiss and hold hands in public? No. So you very affectionate, so you expect the same from them? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Does that help the relationship better? I believe so, yes. I think you have a better bond when somebody's not afraid to show their affection for you in public. That's new for me. I got to take notes on that. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Okay. Big big talk. Y'all heard it. Big talk, big talk, man. You got, got some more for me? Run them. <laughs> Run them. Oh, this guy wants them all, y'all. Which would you rather have in a relationship? Financial stability or love? Whew. 
Ooh, yeah. see? I, I, I hey. see these two are married, man. Right, right. But, hey, I told you to run the question. Man, and that's a two-fold question. You know, at the end of the day, money make the world go round. If, just say for myself, if I wasn't able to provide for my kids, my wife, the household, I feel less than a man. And then at some point, you know what I'm saying, we got to balance each other. If I'm down, she has to be up. So if I'm down, she has to pick up on the financial situation. If she's down, I pick up on the financial situation. But I was raised like this. A man is supposed to take care of the household by hook or crook. And that's just the way I was raised. So uh, I said, hey, ladies, don't get mad at me. Love might take a secondary to this one. Finances, real talk, you know. If you can't live, then what? There you have it. He kept it 100 with y'all. Till next time, more Q&As. Or Oasis is they, they made a mess. And... Waste the food. You know, you take it, you spend all this money, and then they don't just eat it. Don't eat it. Just waste it. See, that's why you got to take people to a cheap place first. Not just play. Um, now that, I don't need to I know wouldn't, how to no, Honestly, no. I, I wouldn't just say anything because I already know it's like, it they... They would probably take me out somewhere else to make up for the wasted food if there was a second date. Okay. Are you a giver or a receiver when it comes to gifts in a relationship? Both. Giver. More of a giver. More of I'm a more of a giver too, but both. 98% giver, yes. <laughs> when you break up, do you take it back? No. Oh, no. That's some lame. I bought it that's because I wanted to, not because I had to. Even if they get caught cheating, you just like That's on them. Once they can, have, they can share it with the new chick. It's, it's, it was out of love. If I take it back, that means I didn't do it for me loving you or caring for you. I did it for the because attention or the, the feedback. Okay, yo mate get caught cheating at work. You keep them. Do you let them still keep working there? Or you say they got to quit there? Because they going to still keep seeing the other person that's there. So you say they, they cheating with a co-worker? Uh-huh. Okay, so if they get caught cheating with a co-worker, that's kind of hard there. But everybody needs a job, you know, trying to find a job nowadays is it's a hard. hard. So that's why I said that's not hard to they would, That's where that trust would have to come in. They either going to want to keep my trust or say, fuck me and Bounce. that be that, yeah. yeah. So they can stay working there, but I'm going to confront them and whoever they was cheating on me with. Yeah, that's kind of hard. That's the hard one right there because, like she said, we... It's been hard for everybody with finding jobs and stuff like that. That's pretty hard. So. I don't know. That's, that's hard. I have to actually be in that situation for me to react. I don't know. Okay, so this for the single lady. With COVID and everything going on, do you kiss on the first date? No. We can high five, elbow, fist bump. After I use man sometimes. But no, no kissing on the first date, sorry. Even, uh, I can answer that question too. I ain't gotta be in no relationship or a single or whatever. No, I'm not there. <laughs> But careful. no, you might say this. <laughs> but no, period. <laughs> Good answer. Like it. Good answer. Thank you. Questions? I'm here with my guy, Steve. Steve, and Steve's gonna answer one of the twenty questions. Steve, is no oral sex a deal breaker in the relationship? Yeah, probably. Wow, you heard it, it's a deal breaker. Steve, how about this? In a relationship, who wears the pants, you or her? Whoever makes more money, probably. Whoa, I like this guy. <laughs> Steve, do you still open the door for ladies oh yeah the entrance door and the car door no just the entrance door just the entrance door come on you go on a date you pick this girl well, up. i haven't been on a date in years so i don't know i might have used to oh you I used can't to remember <laughs> what's up what's up we back with questions q and a's we here with What's your name, young lady? Jayla. J-A-Y-L-A. You want to shout out your social media? Mm. No? You prefer <laughs> not to? Okay, we'll leave it with that. So, your man gets caught cheating with someone where he works. Do you let him keep working there? No. 
Mm. That direct, no. <laughs> Who should be in prison? Donald Trump or R. Kelly? Trump. Oh, man. <laughs> if you see a couple fighting and a woman says, help me, do you? Yes. Mm. Right away. Right away. We're going to jump them. Do you think your mate is soft for wanting to kiss and hold hands in public? No, but keep it to a minimum. <laughs> oh, too much ain't good? Yeah, I don't need people trying to see what I got. <laughs> keep it. Oh, so you trying to keep him on the low? Yeah, to myself. You ain't advertising your mate? No. Mm. Uh-uh. Because they see you flossing, then they want you. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> so there you have it. Q&A's with your guy J-Mo from the J-Mo show. But um, I think I'm going to switch it on over. The Q&A's, put them on Super TV. YouTube channel. Don't want to put too many different contents on the J-Mo show. We already got the car shows. We got the Super Tales. Better start putting some uh, content on Super TV. It's going to be daily vlogs on there. Plus Q&A's. But. Be sure to put in the comments any questions, relationship questions y'all might want answered. Or on the JMO Show Facebook page, DM on there your questions. Or on the JMO Show Instagram page. I'm JMO, and this is Q&As with JMO. I'm out.